not be. But he must make sure he's doing very well in revenue collection, he's paying our members, even doctors, he has promised to promote them. But equally, we want a clean city. We need to regulate our hawkers. We can organize a market somewhere 100 kilometers, 60 or 30 kilometers outside Nairobi and we put there an electric train to be transporting people to go to, to where hawkers are instead of them being everywhere in town. So the public transport is a very important thing, Your Excellence, and we want to support you on that, in that particular area. Lastly, before I sit down, Your Excellency, I would like to call upon your government to ensure about political stability in the country so that we salvage our economy from any reunions and equally attract foreign direct and indirect investments that will see the formalization of jobs. In Kenya, out of 17 million workers employed, more than 10 million workers are in the informal sector. And these workers in the informal sector, if they don't access their places of work, they don't have any pay at all. And they are part of us. In 2018, 20, 20, 00, no, 2008, 2009, when we had global economic uh, 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 crisis, Africa was not hit so hard because of huge investment in our informal sector. And we must protect them. To protect them, Your Excellency, go beyond where you are. Make sure you reach out to any of your political enemy to make sure that this country remains stable, Nairobi remains stable. We avoid this issue of maandamano. I'm not competent to advise you. I'm not competent to advise Raila Molodinga, who is my brother-in-law. He started politics at the age of 14. Whom am I to advise him? Your Excellency, when, we were, when you were fighting to become the fifth president of this republic, we in Azimio, we were calling Raila the fifth. Little did we know what sort of guns you had. Nini mnajua vizuri, sana mna hivyo? So mnajua mi ilikuwa mtu Azimio. Na natuwa kuambia ukweli, na nikisema ukweli watu wanasema wea tuwela nasema nini. Nini aja yangu kubwa ni inji hii. Saa hii ukienda Sudan, Katum, unapita kwa miwili ya watu wamekufa. Na hatutaki hiyo hapa, mimi niko na ofisi Sudan, I'm the president of the trade, the larger trade union, uh, trade, trade, trade uh, federation of East Africa. Na ukienda huko watu wao kwa shida, tutaki shida kama yu katika inji hii. Sisi, katika azimio tulikuwa na president. Tulikuwa na mawaziri. Waintani likama wakina matiani kifuwa kubwa, nguvu kubwa. Tulikuwa na pesa. Tulikuwa na kila kitu. Kwanza tukakueka inje, tukakulima kabisa. Tokea ukapita kwa sisi Kama watu wamezimama ama kama lile shamba Kwa wale wanaotoka kitale ama huko western Kupako kuna mashamba ya maindi Maindi ikija tolewa ama huko rift valley Maindi ikija tolewa kwa shamba Wachawi huko western Wanakibia kama kitu ingine Unaweza pa unaweza shangawi ni muta lipita hapa Weo lipita kwa sisi kama watu wale wamezimama Nikajiuliza hii television inasema ukweli ya mani uogo. Na sisi tulikuwa na AK-47, tulikuwa na pistols, tulikuwa na ile gas canisters, tulikuwa na grenade ili ya kutuba na inamaliza watu, tulikuwa na uwezo, na tulikuwa na ni... Na ukapita kwa sisi na weo uwa 